Sandy Teeker here from Broadband Home Central and I'm at IPTV World Forum North America and I'm here with Lawrence Thorne and I actually met Lawrence at CES earlier this year. He's VP of Sales and Marketing of Firecoms and uh, the reason we're so interested in this is that we had discounted uh, fiber in the home as a distribution medium but that was different kind of fiber than we're going to be talking about. So, Lawrence, why don't you tell our audience what kind of fiber you are working with? This is a plastic optical fiber, and plastic optical fiber is a low-cost alternative to Cat5. Um, other, other than being optical, there are really very, very few similarities between this fiber and glass fiber. It is simple, easy to use for the consumer, unlike glass fiber. Uh, now, a question for you. Uh, are you evangelizing now? Are people starting to adopt this? Uh, this is being rolled out in Europe today. Uh, when telcos show up at uh, a customer's home, generally they find no wires available for them to use. And they, uh, the, these uh, uh, service providers are finding that plastic fiber solves a lot of the problems that they encounter in, in their customers' homes. So is this a new invention, or has this been around for a while? Well, plastic fiber has been around for a long time. It's been around since the early 90s, and it's actually been implemented in high volumes in the automotive industry since 2000. So uh, European cars, BMW, Mercedes, Audi, Saab, on and on, all have plastic fiber as the multimedia bus inside the car. And the reason why that's important is that proves that this technology is reliable, and if it can if it can live in the automotive environment, it's perfectly suitable for the consumer environment that we're promoting it for today. Sounds like they've also probably gotten the cost curve down a lot. Uh, it's helped quite a bit, indeed, because it's the same fiber, uh, same transceiver technology uh, for the most part. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about how a service provider would actually use it and how they'd come into the home and what, what they would have to change in order to use your technology in the home. Okay. Well, uh, generally speaking, uh, the service providers in North America are trying to use existing infrastructure. And we would be the first to say if the existing infrastructure, whether that's uh, a coax network uh, using HPNA or MOCA, works, use that. But when the decision is met, taken that there's either no wire available or the wire in place is not suitable, instead of using Cat5, plastic fiber brings a lot of benefits. It's simple to use, simple to install, decreases installation time, and provides for a lower risk solution for the telco. So how would I actually run it? I mean, this is something that I could do myself? Absolutely. Simple, Even me? <laughs> simple. It's, 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 it's technophobe. Uh, it's, it's a technophobe product. It's so easy to, to use. Uh, if I could just show you a termination, uh, unlike Cat5, which requires the user to, uh, to put, and in this case, it would be an installer, because I don't know of any end user who's actually going to put an RJ45 on Cat5. Right. All that's required with plastic fiber is simply cut the fiber, no polishing required, no stripping of the jacket, simply insert simply insert the fiber, lock in place, and that's it. It's very simple. Even if you're all thumbs, it may take 30 seconds to do this. So reduces installation time. Uh, it allows for the customer to do some of this himself if he wants to change his original uh, installation. So cost savings for all parties concerned. So you mean this Cat5 that we pulled in 1996, so we don't have to go through something like that again? Not at all. This is very, very easy to use, and because this fiber, this wire is very small, you have the real possibility of running it outside of the wall cavity in a retrofit situation. Um, it can be pulled in the wall just like Cat5. Actually, easier because you can pull this right along your existing electrical cabling. Because it's optical, it is not susceptible to any kind of interference from electrical sources. So, but if you do run it outside the wall cavity, it's very, very simple, and I don't know if you can get this on camera here, but you can see we ran it underneath the uh, baseboard along the carpet without any, uh, any effort at all. It took about two minutes to do that. 
Boy, that sounds great. So I could just tuck it in. You can just tuck it in. And as a matter of fact, because this is optical, there's no electricity running through this line. You could pull it right across the carpet in a room, and you're not violating any code. There's no fire hazard. And because this wire is small, there'll be no lump in the carpet and no one will know it's even there. So what about bends, crimps, things like bends, that? Bends, well there is, uh, there are some limitations on bend radius. It's a 10 millimeter bend radius, um, but all that happens if you do exceed that specification is it just reduces the distance available for the fiber. Well, talking about distance, what is the distance you can run with it? Today, we're, our, the solution we're pr promoting today is 100 megabits over 50 to 100 meters, depending on how you install the fiber. Okay, so now I've got this running around, and I've got it, but now I've got all my legacy devices at the other end. What happens sure. then? In that case, the device I have in my hand is a media converter. Um, and so this device is actually a, a Cat5 to plastic fiber converter. So it takes electrical Ethernet from your Cat5, converts it to optical, and sends it out over the plastic fiber. The connector system is called OptoLock. This was uh, this innovative uh, technology was developed by my company, Firecoms, and this, the, the real innovation here was traditional, even plastic fiber connect connectors were plug and socket and still required a, uh, a tool to put the plug on the end of the fiber. But with the OptiLock innovation, it eliminated the need for the plug on the end of the wire. Ah, we can finally get rid of our punch down tool. <laughs> Absolutely. Easier to terminate than a speaker wire on your home stereo. Because your speaker wire on your home stereo, you still have to strip the jacket off before you insert it. With plastic fiber, cut, insert, off you go. Well, Lawrence, thank you very much. This was very interesting and you've given us a kit, so now we're going to go home and try it. Well, great. Well, thank you for the opportunity.